Hello and welcome to F4 Discover Free video tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to show you how to prepare the development environment on Windows system. So if you visit our website at www.isinga.com slash Nodino Robotics slash F4 Discover Free, you may find the getting started page here and you may choose between Mac OS, Windows or Linux operating system. Today's tutorial is about preparing the development environment on Windows system. So here you need to download all of these software packages that you can read on the left. And please also read the installation notes for each one of them. If you bought F4 Discover Free from us, you may find that all of those packages are packed into one executable that you may find within the micro SD card. Or alternatively, you may also download from our website. So I'm going to show you quickly how to use this package installer. Here, please read the license and the disclaimer and click agree as you want. Here you may choose between complete or customize your packages. For example, if you already have FTDI driver installed, then you may uncheck this. I'll go ahead and complete install. So this is the Java runtime environment installation. Installing packages may take some time depending on your system. Okay, Java installation is done. Now we continue with the MSYS or minimal system installation. So I will keep uh, all program installation at uh, their default location. Here MSYS will ask you about the post install. Answer yes for this. And if you have min GW, then you may answer with yes. I I I don't have a min GW install, so I answer with no. Press enter. Press enter. And one more enter to close it. I don't want to read the read me and the welcome message from MSYS, so I just uncheck both of them. Now we start the Git installation. Just keep all with the default. And make sure you choose the first option, use Git pass only. This is also the first option. Okay, I will uncheck this as well, but you recommend it uh, to read it if you want. Now we are entering into libusb installation. So I keep all as default location. And this, this part is actually the one that you need to do, which is uh, installing the filter installing the device filter but at the moment I'll, 
I will uncheck this and do it later. Now we are installing the GCC ARM embedded. Which is the tool chain. So if you find that uh, my tutorial here is too fast, then you may go back and watch it again. That's the advantage of having a video tutorial instead of a live tutorial, because you can go back as many times as you want. To watch what I did here. So we are almost done with the uh, GCC arm embedded. Okay, and here I will uncheck the readme. Uh, I will check on the, the last one, which is adding the path to the environment variable and click finish. Now we are installing the Eclipse IDE and the rest of the packages. Okay, and we are done. And you see a message here completed, and we, you can close this. And that's it. So here on the desktop, you can see some short shortcuts already created, which is an MSIS Git. Uh, Eclipse ID and this is a serial terminal. So that's how easy to set up the development environment on Windows system. So see you in the next tutorial.